Masters Vessel Classical Academy, Primary Section. On the Roll. Good day, peoples over there. I hope all of you are at home. And um, we have agricultural science this moment. Remember my name is Mrs. Sinha Pavoluchi N who is going to teach primary three agricultural science. The topic of my lesson today is Classification and uses of tuba crops. I repeat, classification and uses of tuba crops. Tuba crops are classified into two parts. They are stem tuba and root tuba. They are stem, tuba, and root, tuba. Remember that at the end of this lesson, you are expected to classify tuba crops. Another thing, to state some uses of tuba crops. Lastly, to give examples of stem and root tubas. The classes of these tuber crops are stem tubers, as I have said earlier, and root tubers. Root tuber crops are classified into two. Stem tubers and root tubers are the classification. Now let us take the stem tuber. Stem tubers are plants that produce their tubers from stem. Stem tubers are plants that produce their tubers from stem. Example of stem tubers are yam, Irish potato, and tree leaf yam. You may be asking of which one that we call tree leaf yam. We call it ono, oh inibo, tree leaf yam. This is one of the examples of stem tuber. I take it again, examples of stem tuber are yam, Irish potato, and tree leaf yam. Root tubers are plants that have roots which swell greatly and become tuberous. I repeat. Root tubers are plants that have roots which swell greatly and become tuberous. Examples of these root tubers are number one, cassava, number two, sweet potato, and number three, carrot. Examples of root tubers are cassava, sweet potato, and the carrots. You have seen cassava. You have seen sweet potato. You have been eating carrots. All of them are examples of root tubers. What is the need of stu uh, studying or learning about these tuber crops? Is it of any need? Yes. There are many important of learning these tuber crops. 
what are the importance or what are the uses? Number one use of tuber crops is tuber crops supply carbohydrates to man and animals. Tuber crops supply carbohydrates to man and animals. The strength you get from food to do some work is from tuber crops. Without tuber crop, you can't have the strength to run, to jump, to play, to read even. You have seen it's very important. Farmers sell tuber crops to make money. When they take what they produce from their farming to, to the market, they sell it and get money, which they use in paying for your school fees, which they use in buying food stuff for you, clothing you, and paying your school fees. It is very, very important. Tuber crops also can be made into flour for making bread, cake, and biscuits. So from tuber crops, we, we can make or get bread, cake or biscuit after processing it because you can get them from the farm and they automatically become bread. No, you must have to process them into bread, into cake, into biscuit. Number four, these tuber crops provide raw material for industries. Many industries use them to produce so many things. When these uh, uh, tuber crop, crops are processed, a, an industry may buy it as it is processing to flour. When they buy this flour, they use this flour to produce bread, uh, cake, and biscuit. And lastly, tuber crops supply us almost half of what we need in life. Remember the assignment that will prove to me after solving it that you, you understood the lesson are as follows. Number one, crops that produce their tubers from stem are called dash. Put the name. Number two, dash have roots which swell greatly and become tuberous. Number three, Give me two examples of root tubers and also two examples of stem tubers. Number five, state, state three uses of tuber crops. State three uses of tuber crops. I have come to the end of today's lesson. I am still your teacher. This is Inhe Kwabo Luchi, your agri teacher. Remain safe at home and be good to your parents.